a uh, number of things. Uh, we got to keep in mind that while the governor has done a decent job overall on COVID, uh, there is an area where he has not performed very well. We have 74% of our deaths that it were COVID related occurred in nursing homes. That's third worst in the nation. Uh, and we know how it got in. It got in human transmission. And while he stopped family members, he allowed workers to go in and out. And come October 31st, those workers, those facilities are no longer gonna get state assistance to provide the PPE to them. We need to protect the greatest generation who paid the greatest price under this administration during COVID. We'd like to see an end to social isolation. Many people in nursing homes suffer from diminished capacity. They rely upon their family, their friends, their loved ones to make sure that their eyes and ears on the ground that they're getting the care they need. So we need to make sure that that ends. A professor from Quinnipiac, yes, Connecticut knowledge, our foremost leaders in this area, not out of state groups, uh, Nicholas Nicholson, talks about the ill effects of social isolation and its cost in the Medicare program. We also need to look at building a robust and healthy home care system. Because many people now, if I'm a senior, I do not want to go to a nursing home where I know 74% of COVID-related deaths occurred. But yet after a decade of dominance by this party and this majority, they have rolled back the advancements of the REL administration, where, where we recognize legislatively that money follows the person is the way to go. They have reduced the community spouse protected amount. They've capped uh, enrollment into category one They've attacked the Medicare savings program, although we've been able to save that in recent years, it's certainly an item that they look at. They've also cut back on things like Meals on Wheels and other necessary things that are relied, that are, are required for seniors to age in place. Those all need to be part of the equation moving forward so that we don't put seniors at risk. We need to look at the Medicaid reimbursement rate we got $1.4 billion under the CARE Act that came into the state of Connecticut. Less than, keep in mind, 74% of deaths occurred in this environment, and yet the administration appropriates less than 10% of those funds to nursing homes. Yes, there might be some derivative benefit under PPE and testing, but we know that that's not all aimed to the nursing homes. The governor needs to do better and if he doesn't, then the, legislator, the, the legislation, the, the General Assembly must act. If he fails to act, then we need to act. But yet that's not on the agenda 